Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at this DMOND Demond Demond 60kg cordless digital servo monster killer servo servo. This servo's got some pretty lofty specs, 60kg, 0.08 seconds at 8.4 volts. In this video we're going to see if it's waterproof, it says it's IP68 waterproof. We're going to take it apart, see what it looks like inside, then we're going to throw it in the destroyer of servos, my very heavy all aluminum low C LMT. This truck's hard on servos. It managed to kill a venerable Power Hobby 729 in about 10 packs. It also destroyed a 35kg Amazon servo in about three minutes, and those 35kg servos are pretty tough. So I'm curious to see how this thing holds up. Before we get into that, I'm really excited because we're also gonna be celebrating 3,000 subscribers today, and to celebrate that, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I was trying to think of what I wanted to give to you guys. I was thinking gift cards or something RC related, and I was thinking, why not just give away cash, and then you guys can get whatever you want. So in this video, I'm also going to tell you how to enter to win to get $50 in cash. Stay tuned because we'll talk about that more later. All right, first things first, I want to see if this thing is waterproof. So to do that, we're just going to put it in this little bowl of water for 30 seconds, take it apart and see if any water got inside. All right, that's 30 seconds. Let me get this dried off and then we'll take it apart. While we're taking this apart, let's talk a little bit more about the specifications for the servo. Like I said, it's 60 kg at 8.4 volts. It's obviously gonna be a little bit less than that at lower voltages. And then 0.8 seconds transit time. It is a cordless servo, it's not a brushless servo. In this price range, normally I would expect to see servos be brushless, but if it can make the power and make the speed, then that's not a problem. The difference between a cordless servo and a brushless servo is a cordless servo is still a brushed motor. The spinning part of it's just a little bit lighter so that it can move faster and more efficiently. A brushless servo doesn't have brushes, so it's even more efficient than that. But of course, it's more expensive. All right, got these screws out. This is a really nice looking case, nice all aluminum case. These screws look nice. Let's go ahead and pull these out. And first thing I'm seeing here is there are no O-rings on these screws, so that makes me a little bit nervous about its waterproofness, but we'll see in a minute. All right, let's get this bottom cover off. There is an O-ring around the bottom cover. Now that O-ring kind of goes up and over this grommet for the wires, so I'm not entirely comfortable with that being waterproof either. Board looks pretty nice. It is a brushed motor, as you can see. A brushless motor would have three contacts on it and three MOSFETs, which would be delivering power to it. There's only two here, as you can see. And not too much to see other than that. There is definitely no waterproofing on the screw holes, so I can already tell you right now that IP68 water resistance is almost certainly not gonna happen with this. IP68 is like three feet for 30 minutes. I wouldn't trust that. That being said, I don't see any water inside here from our little dunk test, so it's probably splash proof and will probably be okay if you're just washing the truck off or running through a shallow puddle. Let's go ahead and get the top off, see what it looks like under here. Got a nice amount of grease on here. These look to be all stainless gears. Looking at the main output gear, it appears to be pretty well machined. Everything looks to be high quality and well done. Looking up at the top case, we have just your standard ball bearing here, and then there is an O-ring up at the top, so that's good for water intrusion. And the rest of the servo just looks basically normal, like a standard, decent mid-range servo. Let's get this back together and we'll get it in the LMT and see how it performs. All right, there's the Demon servo installed on my low CLMT. Before we test the speed on this thing and then take it out and see how durable it is, let's take a look at what this LMT did to the previous servo in there, which was an Amazon 35 kg servo. Killed it in about five minutes. Before we open up this Amazon special 35 kg servo, I wanna say these servos are pretty tough. I have a couple of them in some eighth scale truggies and I have had no issues with them. That being said, this one died in about five minutes in the killer of servos over there. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what happened. All right, it took me a minute to figure this one out. All the gears looked fine, but I did figure it out. This central shaft here is actually bent, so it puts so much force on the top case that it pushed the top case over, bending this central shaft. Now, I can probably fix this, but this servo was killed by that truck. All right, so this servo is gonna be running at 7.4 volts on this low C LMT. According to the specs, that's supposed to be 55 kilogram centimeters and a 0.1 second transit time. Now, I've done a lot of work with a lot of servos, so I'll be able to tell if that's telling the truth or not. All right, let's see how it feels. Okay, so the power is there. It feels pretty powerful, but the speed is not even remotely close to 0.1 seconds. Let's see how it is with no load on it. Uh, it's faster, but still, it's nowhere near 0.1 seconds. I'd say that's probably closer to 0.2 seconds, maybe 0.18 seconds. 
So in this quick test here, I can say they're probably not being 100% truthful on the speed of this servo. That being said, in an application like this, it's durability that counts. This is all metal linkages here. The only thing saving that servo is the servo saver itself. Nothing else has any give to it, and it's pretty punishing. So let's go ahead and take this thing outside and see how that servo holds up. When we come back in, I'm gonna tell you how you can win that $50 prize. The Demon 60kg servo survived the wrath of the low CLMT. Not sure exactly how well it's going to hold up long term, but it did survive a couple bash sessions with no issues. It's a little bit slow, it's a little bit less waterproof than they say it is, but I think it's a decent servo. Now let's talk about the giveaway. How do you win this $50 bill? It's really simple. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then put a comment in the comments section, and I'll be picking a winner in about a week's time. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me, and we'll see you in the next one.